from a Roman statue that is over 2,000 years old, and an ancient Roman shrine, to the possibly oldest pub ever discovered, and some very intriguing jars, we get to a never-before-seen Buddhist complex and a slave room that was hidden for thousands of years. Here's our list of the top 10 archaeological discoveries that have shocked the whole world. Number 10. 2,000-year-old Roman statue. Sometimes we forget that Italy was the home of ancient Rome, and they almost conquered the whole world a few millennia ago. But nowadays, people visit willingly, and oh man, there are some wonderful historical monuments there. But the statue is fascinating on its own. A team of archaeologists has found 24 statues of Roman gods, some of them perfectly preserved alongside thousands of gold and silver coins. The discovery was made in San Cassiano del Bagni, a town not famous for archaeological gems until now. These statues are very important to historians because they connect very important eras in the history of ancient Rome, a transition from Etruscan rule to the Roman Empire, which happened between the 2nd and 1st centuries BC. It was believed before that this era was filled with wars and barbaric conflict, but the statues prove that people from both sides prayed together. Number 9. Ancient Slave Room Everybody knows about Pompeii and the tragedy that struck the people there. But even Pompeii hasn't been fully explored yet. Inside a rich Roman villa, historians have uncovered an ancient slave room. No, it's not what you think. The villa is over two millennia old, and the room explains that not all slaves were treated badly in the houses of wealthy families. In the room, there were three wooden mattresses, a couple of pottery pitchers, and a chamber pot alongside three beds. One of the beds was smaller, indicating that it belonged to a child. This means that the slaves in the villas of the wealthy family were a family as well. The room isn't big, around 170 square feet, but it was much better than what other slaves had. Number 8. Ancient Roman Shrine the Roman Empire expanded over the whole of Europe, and a recent find gives Leicester more culturally amazing discoveries to be proud of. Archaeologists were shocked to find an ancient Roman shrine next to Leicester Cathedral. This discovery was part of a $15 million project and a chain of discoveries around the cathedral. Who would have thought that so close to this 1500-year-old Christian monument, there was an even older Roman shrine? It was apparently a large building, but the shrine is the only thing left because it survived as a hidden chamber, possibly a meeting place for a cult. Number 7. Ancient Murals of a Two-Faced Man What is now popular as graffiti art grew out of cave paintings and ancient depictions of everyday life. Somewhere along this evolution, this mural of a man with two faces was born. It is over 1400 years old and was found in Peru, inside a ceremonial hall that belonged to the Mochi culture. The Mochi were famous as a sophisticated and peaceful agricultural civilization organized as little city-states, similar to a Greek polis, which is a city. Their history explains the shocking mural, the man is holding weird treasures such as a goblet from which hummingbirds are drinking from. A group of historians are connecting the mural to the everyday lives and beliefs of the Mocha people, but more interesting is another group that believes they enjoyed an occasional out-of-body experience if you know what I mean, and that this mural depicts that feeling. Number 6. Buddhist Complex Pakistan is not well known for archaeological discoveries, but this is what makes this ancient Buddhist complex so special. Surrounded by mountains in the Swat area, an educational Buddhist complex lay undisturbed for around 2,000 years. It was not hidden or covered in weeds, it's just that nobody stumbled upon it during all this time. The discovery includes a big monastic complex and meditation halls in the center of the small valley, along with small cells higher in the mountains where monks lived in relative isolation. What makes this discovery even more shocking is that Pakistani people are almost 99% Islamic, so the monastery provides a beautiful insight into historical movements of land borders and religion. Number 5. 11,000 year old carving. This is the oldest entry on our list a scene carved into a Neolithic bench. The carving is 11 millennia old, it goes back to the time when mammoths and saber-toothed tigers still roamed the earth and people still use stone tools. The bench has two scenes, both showing depictions of people interacting with animals. In the first, there is a man that seems to be scared of the leopards that are surrounding him, and in the other is a man that seems to be provoking a bull. So, in an era where people still hunted and lived in caves, they made time to take a stone to carve a stone and I was late for my school art projects my whole childhood. Number 4. 
ancient pub found in Iraq. Men running to pubs is not a modern day thing. It should just be accepted as a part of life. And this 5,000 year old tavern that was discovered by archaeologists in the ancient city of Lagash proves this theory. Lagash was an important city during the Sumerian period, and this discovery offers a glimpse into the ancient past of civilizations long gone. The tavern itself reveals a ton about the Sumerian way of life. It is roughly a thousand square feet, and even though it is not nearly as big as popular pubs, it was a popular gathering place for locals. Imagine people drinking, laughing, and talking about similar, everyday problems that we do now. It is surreal. Believe it or not, there was even an ancient refrigerator in this tavern, alongside food remains and benches. The pub is located in the city center, so it was always full of new and exciting people with different stories. Fun fact, the Sumerians thought of beer as a sacred drink, so the consumption of beer was religious, and I doubt wives would come to yell at their spouses for being late. Number 3. Ponce Monolith It was hard for Europeans to believe that there were ancient cultures long before they arrived in the Americas, but this monolith in Bolivia is a monument to those people and their culture. It is located in La Paz in Bolivia, and it predates the European arrival by more than a thousand years. It was created by the Tiwanaku culture, which is now famous for its architecture, engineering, and urban planning, while the ancient European cultures slowly fell apart. The Tiwanaku built their cities and the Ponce Monolith. It is over 13 feet tall and weighs almost 20 tons. Despite its size, it is wonderfully decorated with a lot of carvings that show various animals and gods that this culture appreciated. The monolith represents the god Viracocha, the creator of the universe, sun, moon, and stars in the Andean religion. He holds a staff in his left hand, his tool of creation, while his right hand is raised as a tool for shaping the creation. Number 2. Sandstone Jars No, these are not old, weathered tree trunks. I wish they were. The archaeologists who discovered them? Not so much as this discovery, albeit very creepy and shocking, shows a very important ancient root. Across a plain field, there are a lot of stone jars that are over 2,500 years old. This field is known as the Plain of Jars. Very creative, and it was first believed that they were part of some kind of burial ritual. But it was later proven that a lot of these jars formed a path from Laos to India. They were used to collect rainwater from weary travelers and as a road sign. So the trinkets such as prayer beads that were found near the jars were not a burial offering, but a thankful offering as these jars saved many lives during droughts. Number 1. Joggins Fossil Cliffs Who would have guessed that our thumbnail topic of the day is located in Canada? This discovery shocked the whole world. This rock is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. I mean, look at it. Does it look like a regular rock? It looks scary and inviting to me at the same time, and makes me very curious. Well, this is a vast collection of fossils that were collected in a cluster for over 300 million years alongside 9 miles of cliffs. The Joggins Fossil Cliffs provide an insight into many extinct species. Thankfully, this place is a tourist attraction. There is even a museum featuring the most significant finds. What do you think about this picture? Would you guess it is a cluster of ancient fossils? Have you ever found a fossil on the beach or something similar? Let us know in the comments below. Also, make sure to subscribe and check the notification bell to get pop-ups about our future uploads.